There are first aid and CPR classes to teach you what to do if someone is choking, can't breathe, or suffering from a heart attack. But what do you do if you come in contact with someone suffering from an emotional crisis? Dr. Elizabeth Strand with UT Veterinary Social Work is our guest today. We're talking about emotional CPR, but for first off, let's start with what is an emotional crisis? Well, an emotional crisis is essentially when emotions um, start to become overwhelming because of circumstances in our lives. Mm -hmm. And it can be the loss of a loved one, the loss of a job, or the accumulation of events um, that uh, get to a point where we feel overwhelmed with what we're feeling emotionally. And you, you mentioned this a little bit earlier, we as individuals, we can't get through life without having some kind of emotional crisis, whether it be affecting us or affecting the people around us. That's just life. What are some of the symptoms that we should look for uh, for someone going through an emotional crisis? Well, I think that um, trouble sleeping is a really important one mm -hmm. that is a good indicator someone is experiencing an emotional crisis. Having trouble concentrating, um, difficulty with daily activities like self-care, hygiene even, mm -hmm. um, sad uh, sadness tearfulness that that you can't stop crying mm. are all examples of um experiencing an emotional crisis I, yeah I, I can't stress truly enough how how important this is whether it be battling through stigma of mental health or whatever it might be right um and, and when we talk about emotional cpr that's not just something fun that y'all say there's there's an actual meaning for for those letters T tell us a little bit about what that stands for yeah so the cpr stands for c is the first step is to connect with the person who's experiencing the emotional crisis and we do it in a very specific way. The second one is power or empower that person mm. to feel like they can do something in their life. Mm. In times of emotional crisis, we feel like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed, there's nothing I can do. And then the last is R, revitalize, to help a person re-engage with their daily activities. Uh, I, I love that, that's, that's incredibly important. Um, Let's talk about here what, what you all have going on moving forward, how people can, can kind of take a, a step to, to learning all this. Yes. Well, a lot of times we are faced with people in emotional crisis and we don't quite know what to do to actually help. And so this two-day training, which is in February, the second week in February, the weekend, um, provides training in emotional CPR so that we can feel confident helping someone uh, get through an emotional crisis um, well. Hmm. Dr. Strand, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Likewise. Thank you.